Yes. So, in previous class, we have seen the both the types of Thevenin's theorem. That is, one containing only uh, independent sources and another containing the dependent sources. Okay. So, let us solve one more problem and then we'll uh, move to the another theorem. So, using Thevenin's theorem, find out current through six ohm resistor. So, we are supposed to find current through this six ohm resistor. So, what are the basic steps in that? In Thevenin's theorem, first step is whatever load resistor is there, that you have to remove first. So, you have to remove this six ohm resistor first. And then you can find the voltage VTH between these two terminals and find RTH, that is Thevenin's resistance, uh, Thevenin's resistance by looking through this as the input terminal. Find out what is the equivalent resistance of the complete network. But while finding out the resistance, you have to switch off all the independent sources. So, independent voltage source and independent current source. So, independent voltage source, you will short circuit it and independent current source, you will open circuit it. And for dependent sources, you keep it as it is. So, as if it is a resistance or so. So, you have to keep dependent sources as it is. So, with this, we will start solving. So, first I have removed this 6 ohm resistor. So, that is I mark this terminals as A and B. So, from this terminal I want to find VTH and RTH. So, what is VTH? VTH is the voltage between A and B terminal. So, if A terminal is uh, assumed to be positive with respect to B, then you have to move from A to B. So, the path will be this voltage, the drop across this, this voltage and up to B. So, V Thevenin will be by applying KVL to this loop, you can find out the Thevenin voltage. Okay. And for Thevenin resistance, you will remove this and this sources, that is the independent sources and then you will look into this. So, looking through these terminals AB, you will find out what is the equivalent resistance of this. But since the dependent source is there, you will find the short circuit current through this. So, for RTH, you will not use this method if dependent sources are there. Okay. So, that uh, in that case, you will find the short circuit current across this AB and then find the ratio of VTH and ISC. That is V open circuit, open circuit voltage you will find and short circuit current you will find and ratio of these two will be the Thevenin's resistance if dependent sources are present in the circuit. Okay. So, first calculation of VTH. So, I have removed this resistance and Simply one network is there, one mesh is there. So, I apply KVL to this mesh. So, what I will get? Uh, first, since dependent source is there, I will write equation of Vx because it is voltage dependent voltage source. So, Vx and relation between Vx and I. That is I1. So, uh, what is that? So, Vx, if current, uh, current I is flowing from left to right, in this resistance. So, the polarity here will be positive and at this point the polarity will be negative for the resistance because of this current. But the polarity of voltage Vx is exactly opposite to that. So, Vx will be equal to minus 1 
into I1. So that means Vx is equal to minus I1. Say this is equation number one. Now you apply KVL for this mesh. So for this mesh, if you will apply KVL, it is simply a current source is there and uh, this current. So from current equation, you can find I1 is equal to this minus three ampere because both directions are in opposite. So I1 is equal to minus three ampere. This is one equation. Substitute the value of I1 in this. That is equal to Vx equal to minus I1. I1 is minus three. So Vx equal to three volt. So we got value of Vx. We know value of I1. Now you can apply KVL for this Thevenin loop to find the Thevenin's voltage. So you can start from this. 18 minus 1 into I1 min uh, plus 2 Vx minus Vth equal to zero. So this is the KVL equation of this particular loop. Now in this we know value of I1 as minus 3 ampere and value of Vx as uh, 3 volt. So both these values are known to you. Substitute these values. So only unknown is Vth. So Vth it is coming out to be 27 volt. So Vth we got as 27 volt. Now we want to find Rth. So for finding Rth the procedure is you remove the load resistance and remove all the sources and looking through this terminal you will find the Rth. If that is Uh, for type one problem, that is, if there are no dependent sources, but since the dependent source is there, you will short circuit this AB terminal and you will find the short circuit current. So I have shorted this terminals AB, and I am I assume that that current is I N, that is Norton's current. You will come to know um, immediately after this. We are going to cover Norton's theorem. So this short circuit current we are interested to find. So this I n is nothing but I two. So you again you apply there are two meshes. So I will solve this by mesh analysis. So there are two currents I one and I two flowing through this. And as you can see, there is a current source common between these two meshes. It is a problem of super mesh. So how to tackle problem of super mesh? First you write. Equation current equation from this that is I two direction is same in the three ampere direction so I two minus I one will be three so I two minus I one will be three this is let us say one equation then one more equation you have to write since dependent source is there two V X so you have to write a relation of V X and I one and V X and I one relation is I one is In opposite direction, or I one is creating the voltage drop across this resistor in the opposite direction as that of V X polarity. So V X is equal to minus I one into one ohm is one equation of V X. So I got this V X equation and one more equation uh, I one and I two. Now I'll apply K V L for this. Outer loop that is the super mesh. So if you will apply KVL to this super loop, uh, super mesh, then it is 18 minus 1 I1. Then this plus 2 Vx is equal to zero as it is short circuit again. Okay, so this will give you one equation in terms of I1. If I will substitute value of Vx in terms of I1, Vx is equal to minus I1. I'll substitute it in this, so I'll get only equation in terms of I1. So uh, I have got value of I1 as six ampere. Substitute this value of I1 in this equation, that is I2 minus I1 equal to three. So from this, you will get value of I2 as nine ampere. So I1 I have got six ampere, I2 I have got nine ampere. Now the short circuit current I N. 
it is nothing but equal to i2 so in will be equal to 9 ampere now i have got a uh, voltage thevenin's voltage and norton's current or short circuit current so if you want to find rth in the second type of problems rth equal to vth upon in so vth i have found it as 27 volt divided by 9 ampere so it will give me 3 ohm resistance so value of rth i have computed from this vth upon in that is 3 ohms i know vth 27 volt rth 3 ohm so i have drawn the equivalent thevenin network that is thevenin's voltage source in series with thevenin's resistance and then in series with that you know to connect the load resistance so load resistance is 6 ohm now i want to find this il so that is simply you can find by applying ohms law to this that is this voltage divided by sum of this resistances so 27 volt divided by 6 plus 3 that is equal to 3 ampere is the value of i so i hope you understood this and this is the problem for homework so you make note of this this problem you make note of this and uh, we'll move further so obtain the current ix by thevenin's theorem so you want to find the value of this ix that is the current flowing through this 2 ohms resistance so this you need to find now uh in this circuit one dependent source is there which is depending on this value of ix and it is a voltage source since polarity is given so it is voltage source and it is depending on this current so current dependent voltage source it is given one independent current source is there and one independent voltage source is there okay so independent voltage source independent current source and one dependent voltage source and we want to find ix current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor using thevenin's theorem so this is the numerical from previous uh, question paper of sppu okay so you make note of this and try to solve it as a homework we'll solve it if not possible then we'll solve it in the next class so but i uh, explain you how to tackle this problem as dependent source is there for finding rth you will find short circuit current okay so first step is remove this load resistance so you will remove this 2 ohm resistor this terminal will be a this will be b and from this terminal a to b you will find the potential that is vth so you can find it by this loop 10 volt source then this and this and this so you can find out the by applying kvl to this particular loop you can find this particular thevenin's voltage after opening this 2 ohm resistor okay then short these two terminals after shorting these two terminals you find out what is i uh, um, short circuit current that short circuit current you can find and after finding this short circuit current take simply the ratio of vth upon this short circuit current and that will give you the thevenin's resistance after getting thevenin's resistance the problem is very simple vth in series with rth and in series with the load resistance of 2 ohm and then you can find out simply using ohms law the value of ix that is vth upon rth plus this rl 2 ohm so i hope you will be able to solve this okay then we'll move to next theorem that is norton's theorem norton's theorem states that Uh, it is same as that of your thevenin's theorem so uh, 